momentarily to take Homestead and off down Hume Strait, really travelling faster than we've seen anybody else down the strait in this event. Well, they're now in the 31st lap, and Jack Brabham now, the new leader. Been a tremendous race for these 30 laps, absolutely thrilling this huge crowd here this afternoon, and of course, naturally, they are very... Uh, partisan because Jack Brabham is a great favourite. Yes, like there was certainly a tremendous roar from the crowd as uh, Jack Brabham uh, took the lead. Surtees uh, still well in the fight, doing his very best to uh, pack back, uh, pack back Jack Brabham. Here goes Brabham. Beautiful approach. There is Brown Ledger, still that same six inches of dirt. Very hotly pursued by Scott Surtees. Both of them very quick. Brown Paddock towards Homestead. Well now here's Sterling Moss with another few words and I'm sure of great interest to you. Well this is again unofficial. I reckon that Jack Brabham has broken the lap record or at least today's fastest lap. I had him at 39.5, 1 minute 39.5. Uh, John Surtees is doing 1 minute 42 and is obviously in some sort of trouble. It is not as far as I can see engine, it might be gearbox or something else but it is an engine as far as it appears, which of course is from a long distance on. And those are the two things that are relevant as far as I'm concerned. I think you'll find it will be official that Jack has got the fastest lap of the day up till now. Well, that was Sterling Moss. And his prediction was correct as it turned out when he uh, told us a few laps back that he thought that um, there was something wrong with uh, John Surtees, the car, and that Jack Brabham would soon take the lead, and that is the way uh, things have found out. So there is Jack Brabham leading now. However, well, in spite of uh, any troubles he might have, uh, John Surtees is apparently still well in the event. Um, he must have uh, cut down his lap time a little because he's still within uh, firing distance of Jack Brabham who undoubtedly has cut his lap time. And this too has not been uh, a happy hunting ground for Jack Brabham uh, in the past. Uh, as I did mention earlier, it's always been an ambition of Jack Brabham's to win a race here at Warwick Farm. He's never been able to do so. And uh, in the past he has had uh, bad luck with his, um, with his cars last year uh, after that uh, wonderful tussle with Sterling Moss he had to pull out with uh, gearbox trouble. And in talking to uh, Jack Brabham this morning, before the start of the event, uh, he was telling me the troubles that he had to get um, his car off the ship in Melbourne. Uh, two days ago only, uh, Melbourne being 600 miles away from Sydney, he had quite a job of transport to get the car up here. Uh, worked all night to iron out the last few bugs in the brand new car, and... Um, we discussed the fact that uh, mostly when one has uh, these troubles, uh, the thing turns out all right in the end. Well, let's hope that it does for Jack, and he's put up a wonderful performance up to date. And here he is, approaching the causeway. race is still a long way from being over and um, st still there could be uh, anything happen there is the world champion Graham Hill 
in the uh, very re uh, revolutionary uh, Ferguson Climax. And he is making uh, just round of their ledger corner coming down that pitch track. Tony Maggs has been uh, forced out of the race in car three. And Jack Brabham's uh, lap time, his official lap time now, the fastest lap so far today of 140.4. And I think Sterling Moss would like to say a few more words. Well, I've only got a word to say, and that appears that uh, John Surtees' problem is lessened a fraction because he seems to be holding Jack Brabham. In fact, I think he got a tenth of a second back. Uh, Jack did 1 minute 42, and as far as I could see, John did about 1 minute 41.9. Anyway, it's that close. shortly we'll, be, uh, we'll have for you the uh, official lap that the drivers are in at the moment but um, it must be getting to within about 10 laps to go and Jack Rabbit and John Surge is driving the bike together with string um, Jack unable or possibly uh, feels it's not necessary to increase his lead, but uh, just to keep um, John Surtees within his sights, and Surtees may or may not uh, have sufficient power to go ahead. And there's no Jack Brabham pass down the pit straight there, and there he goes uh, around the paddock bend. Over the western crossing, a little bit bumpy there, and uh, the right-hander Homestead onto Hume Strait. Well, we've had 33 laps of the race gone. That means 12 to go. And the position still, uh, Jack Brabham in the lead in car four. John Surtees in car two in second position. And then Bruce McLaren in third place in car 10. In, in fourth is David Mackay in car five. And in fifth position, Bib Stilwell in car six. So, and these incidentally are the only cars on the uh, same lap and in those first five placings a very interesting uh, point is that we have the three Brabham Climax cars in the first five placings so far. Now that's a very wonderful effort Doug and uh, uh, not only will um, we be pleased to see it but uh, naturally Jack Brabham will be uh, most proud of this uh, very fine effort. Uh, and out of those placings four are Australian drivers. Jack Brabham around Polo, closely followed still by John Surtees, may have made um, five or ten yards on John's particular lap. As I'm sure you can see, Jack is very slightly increasing his lead. It was 2.6 seconds just now, but what interests me is to see whether John Surtees is trying to sit there to challenge him at the end. I think that uh, John is holding on, whether he's ha holding on. Whether he's hanging on to have a go just at the end, or if he's just hanging on by just sort of grim determination or not, only time will tell. Well, now we have the official times for the uh, laps up uh, on the 33rd lap and Jack Brabham is lapping at 141.6 and John Surtees is lapping six tenths of a second faster at 141 and just 2.1 uh, seconds, 2.1 seconds between those two. And Bruce McLaren uh, about to overtake another competitor as he turns Homestead to go down here to straight. Now in the 34th lap, uh, John Surtees is still uh, getting 
uh, faster lap times than uh, Jack Brabham. Jack Brabham now reduced his time in the 34th to 140.6, uh, just 1.7 seconds ahead of John Surtees at 140.2. So these two, for 34 laps, have had a great dice. very fast over the causeway, still in third spot, and then he accelerates up the short straight between Polo and Ledger Corners. Very cool, calm and um, relaxed driver, beautiful line around Ledger Corner. And he goes down, pitch straight, and into Paddock Bend. Quite a tricky one this, as you come out into a, a rather sudden left hander there which is an S, and then crossing which is a bit bumpy and the right hander homestead which leads down him straight. There's the leader Jack Brabham coming to the causeway. Looks as though he has dropped back a little uh, behind Bradman, just getting uh, overtaking uh, one of the cars there. But he has um, dropped back a little on this lap. Bradman's still leading Surtees now in second position. It would appear, Doug, that um, Surtees was a little bit unlucky on the last couple of bends in uh, getting mixed up with uh, the traffic, but uh, shouldn't make any difference to the ultimate result. Championship for 1962, finishing behind Graham Hill and Jim Clark. Bruce McLaren of New Zealand, now the uh, number one official works driver for Cooper Climax. come over to the uh, Northern Crossing again and this is one of those two crossings where the circuit crosses the horse racing track. Jack Brabham taking the lead and coming down now to uh, take the causeway crossing. thought that uh, John Surtees had dropped back a little bit and after on the 36th lap the um, official time Jack Brabham lapping at 140.3 increased his lead now to 2.9 seconds ahead of John Surtees on 141.5 uh, and we just have seven laps to go in the race with uh, Jack Brabham having uh, overtaken his Australian teammate uh, Bev Stilwell and the positions of the car with uh, seven laps to go. Jack Brabham in car four, leading John Surtees in car two, with Bruce McLaren in car 10 in third position, and uh, David Mackay in car five in fourth place. David Mackay in one of the uh, Brabham Climax cars, uh, still well in the race in fourth place, and here he is accelerating down pit straight, going into Paddock Bend. Uh, it's a wonderful thing for uh, Jack Brabham that all three Brabhams are still in the event and are in the first six placings.